assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back um i'm going to discuss the second part of uh, microsoft access we already have created two tables in the previous recording of uh, this lecture uh, now we are going to uh, see further that how can we use these developed databases so whatever we have done in creating these two tables in the previous lesson uh, where we have created the employee record table and the department table and we also created the relationship between them so uh, now the next step is that how the users can extract the data from these databases we have also defined the relationships between these two tables if you remember one to many relationship we have created now all these things relationships in the tables the tables their data the records everything all together it is known as database schema database schema is the complete set of information which is stored in these databases but each user is not interested in full database they everybody needs their own required data from the database so the limited information which they want to see that is known as sub schema or you can say a view so how can we create these limited information which user wants let's suppose in my these two tables first table is employee record and the second table is the department code let's suppose there is a manager who wants to see the information about all the employees whose pay rate is above 40 uh, dollars and uh, they wanted to see that uh, which department they belong and which location they are working when did you hire them all these information they want so we need to create a sub schema for this purpose and how do we do that we do it with the help of database queries so i will be uh, in this lecture i'll be discussing with you how to create the queries in the microsoft access queries by for the one table queries for the multiple tables also how can we put single criteria in the query for the selection sake how can we put the multiple criteria in the queries for the selection sake so let's start our discussion for this topic so i will be going for the query firstly query design when i do that it asks me which table you want firstly we will be doing for one table only so for this purpose i'll be taking employee record and then maybe let's start from the parent table that is the department table so i'm doing it and then i'll close this show table with it now this is it now i'm going to uh, create the query in this excel sheet look like sheet down so here which field i want so if let's suppose uh, firstly i will choose all the sheets uh, all all the fields of my table later on i'll be displaying few of them which uh, the user wants so if you see from the drop down i'm selecting all the fields which are required location then the number right if i check all of them they all will be given to me uh, but if i do not uh, select some of them like first let me show you the query with all these fields from the department table so i'm going to do run this run button will display the query for me uh, now let's suppose if i want uh, the employee uh, the departments who has more than 40 employees then in that case i'll again go to design view okay firstly let me delete this one because it's toys so and check because i don't want it okay now for example if i want to choose that department which has uh, let's give a criteria i want to choose a department which has employees greater than 40 so i'll be writing this uh, criteria over here we can write uh, different types of criteria as employees equal to 40 or uh, employees uh, greater than 40 or less than 40 40 is a number which i'm using you can use any numbers i write 
I want those employees so let's choose uh, this one criteria and then run our query so if I do that I get only two departments department A and B A has 53 employees and B has 45 employees both of them are above you know um, 40 I can also create multiple criteria so let's go to the design view and uh, for example let's uh, let's go back uh, to the view just to uh, see one thing okay for example i want to choose those departments whose location are in buildings so let's test this maybe it will appear or not but let's try this one i want to show you multiple criteria so the departments which are equal to building let's try this one and now let's run this query so nothing is appearing because nothing was building I have building number so let's go to design view again if I say a specific building number then it will appear but I don't have I will give you the multiple criteria in the other table because there is nothing else which I can give let's suppose if I remove this criteria then all the fields will appear when I will run this query so you can see we can limit uh, the record appearance according to our need right now I want all the departments with full details so they are appearing if I want to see those departments let's see in D let's suppose their their number of employees are less than 30 so let's put this criteria and see all the four will appear or only few will appear so number of employees let's say we want less than 30 and let's run this query so now you can see only these two departments are appearing so query displays the results as a user wants you can give single criteria like i'm giving right now you can display multiple criteria we will be doing this practice when i will be choosing multiple departments to create the full queries uh, so this was first uh, topic which we were, we were supposed to uh, perform that was one table select queries with single criteria let's move on towards designing the queries with more than one table if you want to do that you can add more tables so okay okay so if i want to do more than one table so i'll go to show table it will show me the view show table is under the design view now employee record i want to add and close this view can you see this one to many relation was already created when we covered this relationship topic now let's go towards adding the fields of employee record table can you see now both tables are appearing so employee record social security number i want then i want another one that is the last name of the employee then uh, the first name of the employee and i want the department codes as well uh, let's add all the fields and then choose what we want okay so uh, department code I don't want department code again because I have it from you know the department table so leave that let's add the pay rate and then let's add uh, the date of joining and are they eligible for overtime that's it okay if I choose select all the fields without any criteria let's remove this criteria for time being and I run this query all the details from both the tables will be appearing now let's put the criteria I want those departments who have uh, you can say the number of employees greater than 40 and also the employees period should be above 20 can you see here we have 25 22 and like this so this I want to do okay so I want to put a criteria under pay rate and I also want to put a criteria under the number of employees 
so let's go back to the design view and here number of employees let's say we want greater than 40 and pay rate it's here we want all those employees whose pay rate is greater than 20. let's run this query and see what will happen so can you see all the employees whose pay rate is greater than 20 they are appearing and the number of employees greater than 40 are appearing if we see uh, the rest records are gone so let's go back to the design view and let's remove uh, the uh, just I'm just doing trial and hit to show you the effects I'm removing the criteria from the number of employees and then see if the criteria pay rate exists then what change happen so can you see the records changes because I did not put any limit on the number of employees now we have a pay rate of 46 as well why it was not appearing because the number of employees were greater than 15 that's why okay so this is it about the queries uh, for creating the query from the single table with single uh, criteria creating the query from the multiple uh, tables with multiple criterias and from the practice purpose this is more than enough just remember queries performs the same function in Microsoft Access like filter performs in Microsoft Excel you can filter and you can limit the uh, you know rows in Excel same is the case in Microsoft Access we have queries we can limit the appearance of required reports uh, which user wants you don't need uh, to work on everything uh, which is not relevant to you you can limit the records now one more query let's suppose I want to work only with department A so I need the record of only only department A so I'm going back and I'm deleting all the criterias only in department code I'm putting A that I just want A and that's it and then run the query can you see I my department A records are appearing so what you want just extract or fetch that level of information for yourself securities so makes your life easy in this way so what have we covered in Microsoft Access? Firstly, in the previous recording, I told you how to create um, the tables in the database. Then we have created multiple tables. We created two tables. After creating the tables, we have created the relationships among the tables. After creating the relationship, I have taught you how to enter the data into different tables. And then in this recording, we have covered how to create the queries. We have created the queries with one table and with one criteria. We have created the queries with multiple tables with one criteria and with multiple tables with multiple criteria. This is it about the coverage for Microsoft Access. I'll come back with the more details about the practical content of accounting information system. Hope you enjoyed this recording and uh, please leave a comment if something is confusing you or you want me to explain some point. I'll be answering you soon. Take care everyone. See you in the next video. Bye.